Hey everybody, welcome back to Castle Farms Homestead. Today is a very exciting project, at least for me. This is something that we really need around here to really get one step closer to our goals. So come with us, see what's going on today. Today we're going to be building something. Made a trip to the lumber store, got a bunch of lumber. It's not cheap, <laughs> but this is something we really need to get going on. You know, we finished the hoop house. Uh, pretty much it's done. Other than we have openings at each end that we've got to have doors for. Once we get those doors on there, then we'll be able to close it off when there's bad weather and protect whatever's inside. So once we get those doors done, we'll be able to get our storage stuff inside of there, as well as be able to put our supplies in there for building. So this is pretty exciting. Our doorways are pretty big. They're, uh, I made them large enough so we get a trailer in here, get the tractor in here, whatever we need to bring in here. So they are, if you remember right, when we built them, they're essentially 10 feet wide and nine feet high. So these, uh, these doors are gonna be pretty massive, but uh, I think it'll be pretty cool when they're done. I'm really excited for this. I'm gonna build them essentially the same way that I built my gates for the fence that you may have just seen. If you haven't seen that video yet, uh, you can look on our last video and see that. Um, but I'll build them essentially the same way and uh, I'm hoping that they'll turn out really well. Um, I've got some plans for them in the future that I think will really make them cool, but for right now, we just kind of need to get them done and covering the doorways so that we can get our stuff inside of here. I am going to have one significant issue to deal with on this doorway here. A few days ago, I noticed that this purlin was starting to stick out against the plastic. Well, since then, it's actually pushed out through the plastic. I thought that it was just loose and was working its way over, but I've since realized on inspection of the doorway here in preparation for this is that, I don't know if you can see it in this or not. I'll try to get back to where you maybe can see it, but that four by four post is warped. It curves up towards the top inwards. And as that's warped, it's pushed the whole hoop over about four inches. And unfortunately, it's not going back. I've tried pushing on it. Brady's tried pushing on it to see if maybe we could, you know, just try to make a little bit of difference there. But it is not going back. When we uh, first put these posts up in here, we set them approximately 10 feet apart. And I'd like to say that we were exact. Come on, get over there. I'd like to say that we were exact in our positioning, but we're a little long here. We are actually at about 10 feet and three quarters of an inch. So a little bit wider. Great, I need the extra space, that's fine. And so the actual width is not a big deal. We'll adjust you know, the doors accordingly. However, another thing that I'm gonna have to deal with is the fact that as we go up, they are of course perfectly plumb. And no, I'm lying about that. They are not perfectly plumb. And in fact, I get wider, a little bit wider as I go up. So I'll have to deal with that. But the point is, you don't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be exact. If, you don't, if you're afraid that, of doing something because it won't be perfect, it's okay. Once it's all done, unless you really look, you probably won't even notice. So it'll be okay. Just do it anyway. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and get busy on these doors and make them work. So the way I'm going to be doing this door, 
again, we're nine feet high, tall and 10 feet wide, uh, approximately. So we're gonna do a basic framed door. I'm gonna be using two by eights for the sides and for the top. I'm gonna to use two by 10 for the middle and a two by 12 at the bottom. And then the whole back of it is just gonna be backed by some OSB. The uh, height of this door is going to be eight feet, 11 inches, according to my measurements. <laughs> and the width of the door should be exactly five feet wide. I, uh, um, after taking the measurements of the width and subtracting space on each side, as well as in the middle for closing, so those are the dimensions we're going to use. I'm going to get to cutting some wood now. I've got my door laid out the way I want it. Two by eights on the sides, a two by six at the top, a two by 10 in the middle, two by 12 at the bottom. So now I'm ready to secure those pieces together. Just doing it the way I did my gate last time. I'm going to use the, uh, the drill with the uh, pre-drill, uh, um, bit and kind of like a Craig jig I'll come in from the sides here I'll pre-drill coming in this way a few places and then drop a screw in we'll cinch that up good and tight All right, so once we got the frame built like this, the rest is very simple. To keep it simple, I'm just gonna put a piece of OSB over the whole top of it. We'll cover it, just square it up in it and put it down all over the place. I initially thought I would do some kind of supports like I did with the gates, but I realized that with that OSB in there and, and screwing that down all around, that thing's not gonna drop at all it'll stay rigid for its entire life so we're just going to throw the osb on there and then that will also allow me to do whatever it is i want to do later to kind of jazz these up a little bit and make them special but that's not going to be happening in this video today we're just getting the the uh, gates the doors done and get them up and try to let them rip off the hinges that's all <laughs> we won't go into that right now <laughs> Let's take a look at it. Except for the OSB tag. <laughs> so there you go. That is a monstrous gate door. I keep door. calling it a gate. It's a door. A bull. Adorable. <laughs> so, okay. We got to make one more, and then we'll put the la put the hinges on. Uh huh. Okay. We'll set this one to the side somewhere safe. You don't want to just randomly chuck it up on the <laughs> and the, in the entryway. Well, I, I would hate to do that because I know if if we probably don't put any kind of supports or or stops or anything, it might possibly actually rip the 4x4 nearly in half. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. It, it, it could do that. Uh-huh. Okay. I, I doubt that that would ever happen. Especially not if someone suggested earlier today that we just throw up some sort of temporary stop before we, you know, because we don't have the time to do the full stops right now. Well, and yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> That wouldn't happen. <laughs> okay, so actually in real life, this is our third door. I don't know if you caught that or not already. <laughs> this is our third door. We already have two up and on hinges and in place. And we didn't show you guys. But we're going to show you now. Right? Now. now. Didn't that look cool? 
Let's. Oh, we're back. <laughs> we're back. We're back. <laughs> Just like that. Didn't that look cool? <laughs> Did we also show them where the door ripped the four by four nearly in half? We will show that to you in a second here. Stay tuned. We'll show you to at our mishap because yes, this is real life, and we screw things up mostly because of Brady, but. This, this was know. my fault, yep. I did not insist that Am we put a stop up now. Am I fighting you because I feel like I am just like, trying to hold this up or is it just the wind? That is just the wind. Oh my gosh. The wind is a hassle sometimes out here. Yeah. That's the problem with our previous door. Yep. But we're gonna set this to the side. We're gonna make us another door. We're going to put the hinges on it and get these up and then we'll show you what you don't want to do. We're done, at least for now. We finished the fourth um, door over there. You can show it. <laughs> fourth <gasps> door on the Amazing. ground. Amazing. <laughs> Look just like the other one. <laughs> yeah. So all four doors are done. And originally I was planning on putting the, putting the other two up on the other side. But um, I, we mentioned a little mishap with our doors here. So I think we'll show you that and uh, kind of go from there. So this door was on, this door was on securely. Everything was good. We had it open all the way up to the other side over here. The wind was such that it was in place fine. We had something holding it in place. Everything looked good. But while we were working on building the other doors, the wind must have changed a little bit or something. It does all the time out here. Should have been ready for that. But it just pushed the block out of the way and the door came swinging quickly shut. I was going to leap and try to stop it. And I saw this big door coming at me and I paused. <laughs> I'm thinking that thing's gonna take me out. And instead it took out our four by four post. If you can see here, let's see if I open this up a little bit. When it came all the way closed, it literally ripped out the four by four middle up, even all the way up to the top. Look at that. Ah, oh man, I am so ticked off at myself. And, and yes, Brady said we should put a stop up there. And yes, I was planning on doing that, but I was gonna put one all the way across and you know, finish it and I'll put the what I wanted up there, but we should have just put a temporary stop up there that we could replace and then put the one we want. Like I said. Later. And because nothing was there, it swung and just ripped that four by four. I can't, ah, that is so frustrating. <laughs> wind changing <laughs> throwing doors around we're actually going to take these doors off too because the problem is we don't have everything we need i don't have the latch that i want to latch these doors together i don't have a ground post in that's going to go into the ground on both these doors to hold it in place so once we have those things and we can secure everything plus when we do have them opened up all the way like that one down there we need to have something there to latch it as well, to hold it in place. So if a wind changes, it's not gonna throw it closed. So until we have all those pieces and everything to be able to put it in properly, we're not gonna put them up. This, These here will take down the post here. I wasn't sure what to do, but I've decided we're gonna glue it. We're gonna inject glue in all those cracks. We're gonna clamp them up, let it set up. It'll be perfectly strong then. And we're going to get, I already was planning on getting bigger screws to go in here because these screws are only like that long. And we need to have something that's going almost through the whole post, if not through the whole way and maybe bolted on. But we have to have something that's stronger than just those little screws. So anyway, it is what it is. Mistakes are made. Try to blame it on Brady, but I can't this time can never blame it on me. <laughs> I don't know about that. I do. 
Well, as far as they know. Yeah, I'm in charge of these <laughs> videos. I've not done anything wrong. <laughs> ever. So anyway, until then, Brady needs to get in the video so we can do our final see you later. So doors for now are done. I love these doors though. They look so good. And once they're painted and everything, they're really going to be looking good and get all the hardware and everything on them. That's going to be awesome. Really looking great. forward to getting this one done. But for now, we're one step closer. We're two right. steps closer, one step back because we're taking these doors off. <laughs> each door. We'll count each door as a step. Then we're four steps closer. And, only and one. One four by four back. Yep. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Castle Farms Homestead. That's right.